Hi folks, we're back into the structural model of our advanced course recreational center. So we continue with our structural model. So there's that opening. So now we want to focus on the roof here. So we want to go to the roof. And this is our roof. Um, might want to tile these views so we can kind of see things because we'll need the 3D view here. Uh, just get rid of that one. You want to go view, tile. Okay, there we go, ZA and fit all. Okay, so now what we have here, we want to really focus on the plan here. Well, doesn't matter. So here we have our, our second level, kind of there. But right now I want to focus on the roof in this, this exercise. Uh, pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, what we need though, we need some beams here, uh, kind of, yeah. This is pretty typical working with the way the architects laid it out, but from this point on, we're going to go with steel. So we got uh, steel set column sections here. So what I want to do now is I want to go and place some beams here. properties dialog yes that's what I want I want the W 16 by 26 I mean that's just what I'm using because uh, normally a structural engineer will do this so I'm going to just go in my 3d view with 3d snapping on and chain and I'll just go place that guy right here if I can yep I'm going to go that go here Now, we can do on grid as well, but at some time we want, I might not want certain um, things, and then I spend so much time deleting, so I might, I'd rather just do it this way so I can know exactly what I'm framing here. So I've got another beam here. Okay, and then, okay, now I want to go on the plan view here now and place these others. Uh, I want to go from there to there. Go do this in plan, but you can do it this way. Didn't place it. Another one here. sure quite yet it's going to be a sort of special feature there we're going to design so we're going to leave that open and plus the uh, curved wall so we're going to beam all this up so and there's our so here we're going to do the same thing that's cool from So I think we'll get our architect a structure, but now I give in it'll be flexible. It's almost any type of floor plan you want with this. Uh I'm go there. Okay, here then I wanna do a beam through here. Just frame this up, then we go here and we'll add Joyce, roof Joyce here. Okay. Okay, now, so we've got our frame kind of going here, uh, pretty simple, you know, I've shown you how to do these before, i got lots of videos about how you do framing, so right now, uh, we got an issue here with this, this uh, let me do this here, the gymnasium, 
long wide span here that's why we switched to steel so I might do trusses in there we'll see but let's move on here so now we've got our um, our, our support system our beams in so now let's go ahead and put on our joists so what you do there is you, you might want to go here and say beam system and then here are all beam types that are in here I kind of I just want a joist uh, and I don't recognize none of these as a joist so what I'm going to do I'm going to go into my insert tab and I'm going to load a family Check so I find a joist oh okay there's one right there um, hmm. even got wood wood on wood here we want steel so let's just go and take the let's just take this one as default and then we'll load it and then it'll bring me up with the type catalog I'll just take uh, let's see hit control key and let's just grab several we may not need them all Let's go up to three and just say OK. So they're now into the project. And we'll then go back into our structure. And then we'll go beam system again. And uh, we'll justification center. And this is our fixed distance. Uh, that might be good enough for default. So now, uh, where are they? Oh, I think these are them. Let's just go at the 16 BG for now and just uh, let's go with this span all the way through. It would be shorter. So, yep. Go there. And there. So, there's our roof coming into place in a play here. Now we can adjust these spans, but I think four is, I'm, I think it's pretty safe to have four feet here, I think. But I don't know, and don't go trying to build this. This is just for educational purposes only. Thank you very much. Okay. So there's our starting off our roof framing, and then next we're going to look at doing a truss through here. Actually, I don't like making long videos. Um, but there you go, there's our, our roof. Our, we've got our pretty much got our structure down, and I'm going to just hit the check mark. Uh, continue. I want to finish this. This, this. here. Finish. Okay. So anyway, folks, I uh, just want to show you how to do the get the roof on here. Now we'll do the truss because we need to have uh, a long something that's going to give us a big, a long span. And I hope we got the right height. Well, we can do adjustments here and everything. Uh, so he's moving along pretty good, I think. Um, and then we're going to bring these walls up so we can just go and say uh, tap. We got all of them. And then we'll go and say give it a, a, a rough an offset say let's go get let's give it three feet for right now and there you go we're gonna have to coordinate with architect again about where things are and what's going to happen but i think we got we got a good start for our structure here so hey guys thank you for watching my videos i uh, appreciate it uh Please uh, support the channel with super thanks if you can, or uh, like, share. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is our, we got our roof framing in, and across here, we'll probably do a truss system, because we got to clear this whole span. So hey guys, talk to you soon, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.